Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am just here to do a random reading right? Don't have any cards out or anything yet. Um, so this reading is for anybody. It's for all signs, any sign, right? Doesn't matter what sign you are. <sighs> I'm just gonna pull the cards and see what we get. Um, so this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, you'll know if it's your story or not, so take what, re what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and help me grow. We're growing together here, and it would be great to have you on Team Loom and Moon, right? Anyway, um, you can like, subscribe, comment, share these videos. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Alright guys, let's cut the deck. Yep. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Empress and the Minor Arcana. I feel like this is you, person watching. Um, I feel like you've been underestimated you've been underestimated by quite a few people even maybe you know uh, two shakes back we were at the seven of pentacles let's just say that okay she was at the seven of pentacles that's when people just think of you as like a peasant a worker someone who will wait around for something forever okay but that seven of pentacles is the only card in the deck the whole entire tarot deck that flips into an empress the empress and the minor arcana and that's what you are um, I feel like you put a lot of work into yourself and your spiritual journey you're every queen in the deck here okay um, and I feel like you are a single person who's been pretty tight-lipped you haven't been talking um, you've just been paying attention to your own stuff okay and you've been building a lot of pentacles up you've got nine pentacles here and the most you can have in a tarot deck is ten technically um, you've transformed you've changed your dress you've changed your hair you know people people who underestimated you before are now seeing you seeing the grand scheme of things okay and you're abundant you're beautiful you're spiritual you're intuitive you're every queen in the deck here um, and that's awesome we're gonna keep that out that's you person watching alright what can you show us today for the person watching what messages do you have You've got a lot of abundance here. Uh, if you don't have it yet, it's coming. You could be working and nurturing uh, um, something that is creative for you, and that's going to pay off. And I'm not reading reversals today, guys. Okay. Um, there's a king of pentacles out there now you could be this could be your energy even just very stable. Um, but if you know in in someone else's energy I see this as a masculine energy I see this as a possible business owner boss someone who's very good with their money a possible earth sign you could be dealing with a possible fire sign as well this person has a lot of passion for you and how could they not in this energy you're absolutely amazing and they know it they know it um, this could also be someone who's committed in a you know in a commitment yeah I feel like you can feel this person um, you can feel their energy this is who they want they're staring directly at you I feel like this is you person watching very very intuitive okay the most intuitive card in the deck Cancer, Gemini, Pisces, perhaps. And you're just like, you. I feel like you've surrendered on this journey. And you're like, you know, if this person comes to me, they come to me. If they don't, they don't. I feel like this strong, um, really strong suspension here. Um, 
and you're just really connected to the divine very connected to the divine and I think during that time you know you've got a smile on your face you're happy being alone and like I said you're you're in this kind of mood where it's like if they come they come if they don't they don't I'm fine all by myself you know and I'm being led by the divine I'm I'm good I'm the high priestess that's that's a lot of com uh, confidence and a lot of grace here okay what else can you show me but the, your person is watching you and you're not paying any attention to them unless it's with your intuition your intuition seems very spot on I feel like I, I feel like that's you walking away here I feel like this is you walking away here walking away from this connection because like I said it's not really so much as a walking away the energy that I'm really feeling here is um, an acceptance and a surrender it's not really the same thing I don't think it's an acceptance and a surrender um, you don't have anything to really walk away from your person hasn't been around you've had to do this all by yourself this is someone who is you know people maybe laughed at you and stuff in the past and thought you were nothing and alone with the help of the divine you've become abundant that's what this is and it just makes me feel like you're fine without this person so you're accepting accepting the fact that they may not come towards you because they're in another commitment even though they they are very passionate they they want this they have a lot of passion for you but you're like not putting forth effort into this anymore you know you've surrendered it yeah i feel like your person's very heartbroken though over this and i, I feel like th they're having a tower moment um, this was a third party situation I believed I believe and they, they chose someone else they they went and got committed got in a commitment perhaps that foundation is is going to be over here your your person knows that you're walking away from this and surrendering and you know that's it and and they're like really heartbroken over this I feel like, yeah, they're burdened to the point where they're ready to walk out of something, too. They can't carry the, the burden of this anymore. I, I feel like this door, is they've got their door cracked open wherever they are, and this foundation, wherever the, they are, this foundation is crumbling. It's done. There's too much heartbreak, too much betrayal. And I think your person is walking out of this also. Um, not out of your connection, but out of wherever they are, wherever, whatever they're committed to now. It's done, I think. They cannot carry these burdens anymore. This is a completion card. This is done. It's over. I feel like they're, they're um, on their way out the door. People are like giving them like their opinions and stuff, and they're, they're standing their ground on this because they can't take it anymore. I feel like your person wants to build with you. It's coming in right under this three of pentacles is coming in underneath this high priestess. Um, they have been kind of, they've been in this juggling kind of energy, juggling these things, maybe even robbing Peter to pay Paul a little bit here. I feel like your person is building their pentacles, but at the same time, I'm seeing one pentacle in their hand. And that tells me that um, either they need to leave a lot of money behind, like maybe they're going to lose money in completing, you know, and walking away from whatever commitment they're in. But I could also see this as having that new beginning. They, they, they may just walk away from the money in order to have this new beginning. That's what I'm seeing because I feel like they want to work on things with you. Okay. What else can you show me here? They have a lot of passion for you. This is somebody who may work with their hands a lot too, a really hard worker. They may work around heat or fire or metal. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, justice is coming in. This person is getting ready to communicate. We've got nine wands here. They've been reluctant. They know they're passionate about you. They want to do this. They want to come in and communicate, okay? But they're taking a rest period here. They know in communicating with you that is that brings in your justice. Um, these are eight wands here behind them. As soon as this person stands up, they're going to turn around, face the consequences, and communicate with you, I feel. They just need to stand up. They need to get up. This person may um, even... They may lose some money in a court case to ending this commitment. Clarify justice. Yeah, yep. Yeah. They want to bring justice to the situation, balance these scales out. They don't want things crazy anymore between you and them, okay? They don't. They, they want to balance this, all right? Um, and this is like a, I see it kind of as like a final call here. Them wanting to bring clarity to the situation as well. Here they come with an apology and an offer of stability. Wow. It's been slow moving. You could be dealing with an earth sign or a Pisces here. But, uh, or a Virgo, I mean, sorry, not a Virgo. Um, a uh, Libra. But anyway, well, I guess since I said Virgo, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know why I said Virgo instead of Libra, though. But um, yeah, this person's coming in with, a, with an apology and an offer of stability. They're like, I'm so sorry. Look, I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm so sorry for how I made you feel, okay? Um, uh, can, is there, a, you know, what can I do? If you just give me another chance, I, I swear I'll, I'll make, I'll, stabilize this whole thing right now you know what I mean they could even bring you a gift here I feel like your person is very guarded though I feel like they're expecting a fight they come in to apologize and they hold up that shield um, you know they're not going to try to stop you from speaking your mind that's for sure but they're they definitely have their armor on for when you do um, this communication's coming in. This is their central focus. This is what this person wants. They want to work on this with you. They know they can build something here solid with you. Um, yeah, and they can't stop thinking about you anyway. They're not going to be able to stop thinking about you until they apologize and make this right. And they're heartbroken over this because now they realize, like, duh. I lost all of this. Yeah, this is your person from your past. You could have known this person for years and year, maybe even since childhood. There could be children involved. This could be like the father or mother of your kids. Um, but they, you know, they think back to a time when you guys were together and all of these cups of love were, were filled and blooming blooming it was new you know it was beautiful it was uh, it would have been ever abundant okay ever abundant yeah evergreen I don't know if that makes you know it resonates with anybody but evergreen is what I heard just now there's a song too, evergreen I'm gonna have to look that up Barbara Streisand but anyway, um, yeah, this person can't get you off of their mind. They're, they're heartbroken over this third-party situation. I feel they may have been stabbed in the back, too. They may be walking away from this because they were betrayed wherever they were in their commitment. They're leaving it, though. I feel like this person's leaving. Um, I really do. Walking away, tower card. Ten of Wands, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was... They're coming at, towards you here because you are their Ten of Cups. Um, and this flew on the floor, floor too, but it was face up. The Fool. They feel like a fool. They want this new beginning. 
they want a new beginning with you person watching they see you as their ten of cups the, the thing is is there's still some cleanup to be done here this person um, I feel like they 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 love you they want this happy fairy tale ending with you okay this is a fairy tale ending here it's an abundance in love luck health happiness uh, uh, money everything it's wonderful it's it's one of the happiest cards in the deck the best ending ever but there's another person involved here with them and they need to clean everything out they can't have this ten of cups with two women or you know whatever take it's not gender specific I'm just reading the cards there's too many females feminine energies in this picture for a ten of cups um, you know especially if we're dealing with a masculine energy you could be dealing with an Aries I'm just calling out the signs as I see them guys okay all right what is the possible outcome for this What's the possible outcome, Divine? That one wanted to come out, but it didn't. Ooh. Wish fulfillment pops up, face up. Wish fulfillment. What's the possible outcome? Thank you. This person's coming to talk. They're coming to talk. They're coming. And this may be playful, beginning stage communication, okay? It's going to be casual. It's going to be friendly. It could be flirtatious and a little bit fun and this is how they're choosing to come towards you um, it's called immature energy immature communication just because if this person isn't in, isn't in king energy I, I feel like they're not coming to you in a, in a king or a knight here initially because they're kinda this is like testing the waters first my guess is that they're gonna be bossing up here during the conversation all right what else can you show me for this possible outcome but community yeah here they are turning into a king what did i say what did i say they just started off kind of nice and easy and casual and playful you know like i said that's how they started off and then they boss up sometime during the conversation <laughs> king of swords energy he's still about communication right with the sword but this is somebody who puts a lot of thought into what they say. Okay, this is somebody who is, they may even plan strategically what they say or how they say it. So this is someone who's now turns very careful and very, very honest and real with their communication. Okay, this is all about this talk. All right, you could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. or a uh, um, Virgo Gemini Aries yeah this person is going to really try to change things around now there may be some manipulation here because like I said they're choosing their words very carefully so watch for that okay person watching this is a person who's going to choose their words very carefully to try to make sure that the outcome works for them okay works for them as well I mean I'm not saying that this person is coming in lying I'm not seeing that I'm not I'm just seeing them being very careful oh I want to take that back I take that back it could turn into sabotage during this can this conversation or that's gonna come up for sure clarify this five of swords yeah, I feel like that's how you're going to see. Here's the deal. Remember when I was talking about the seven of pentacles? She's the only one in the deck that flips into the empress. We started off that way. This person thinks that they can maybe get one over on you, though, too, because um, they see you as, as how you were before. They know that you've bossed up and everything, but you haven't been talking to this person. You haven't been around this person. They've only been able to watch you from afar. So this person really doesn't know you anymore, do they? They don't really know you. You haven't just gained pentacles and changed your dress. No, no, no. This has been a spiritual journey. You've bossed the F up. You know, you've bossed up. So they are coming to you 
with the same kind of communication that they gave you before in the hopes to, you know, manipulate you like they like they used to like they used to because they see you in this they think that they can still talk to you like this I've got I got another reading about that like a few days ago but they can't they don't realize that you not only grew your pentacles here but you flipped into an empress so I think you're gonna pick up on that Yeah, and I think this person's going to end up mentally trapped because you're going to be like switch a turn and tables on this person mid conversation. And as the, they're going to be like stuttery here uh, 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 trying to figure out what to say and it's I think it's going to be too late. I think you're going to be tipped off that this is manipulation and maybe even a little bit of sabotage, but this person sabotaging themselves. They're sabotaging themselves if they come to you, because this is self-sabotage. They're sabotaging themselves coming to you with manipulation if they do that, because you're not going to deal with it. You're going to put them, you're going to trap them with their own words in no time. I hope they're watching. Hi, cross watchers. How you doing? Yeah, you're going to trap them with their own words in a heartbeat, in a snap of a fingers in this Empress energy. Yeah, and then, sh and then it gets real. Then it just gets real. Then they're like, okay, look, I just, can we just start over at least as a friendship? Because they're going to realize they don't know you that well anymore. And now they tell you, I want to put in some effort getting to know you again. Yeah, because you catch them at your, their, own, their own crap. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually, because you get to see them think their way around this. And you're watching them with the smirk on your face like, yeah. And they're like, okay, look. All right, look. Let me just be real with you. Can we just start slow? Let me get to know you. That's, that's kind of how it's going to be here, I think. Yeah. If you're dealing with, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. They're, they're in their mind about this right now anyway. So right now, currently, this person is trying to figure this out. And they've run through this scenario in their head, too. You know, if you're dealing with a Virgo, they've run every scenario in their head. I mean, my gosh, they've probably got scenarios in there that involve like penguins and, you know, I mean, seriously, they're overthinking everything. But your person also knows that they're right in the middle here between communication and they're tapping that blade, tap, tap, tap a -roo. They're getting ready to pick it up and talk. And if they don't though, all these swords, all of that heartache and betrayal that they put you through is going to come down in their chest. It's one or the other for your person and they know it. They know it's one or the other. They either communicate and clear the air with you or they will suffer heartache. That's it. Well, okay, everybody, that's what I got. I hope that made sense, and I hope that resonates with you and helps, right? Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and, and join the family, right? You don't want to miss any of the craziness anyway. Um, yeah, and until next time, take care of you, and peace out.